All right, look, man, I know I said I was done spending money on this game, but I mean, it's gotta be done. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War, the game where apparently no matter how staunch my moral fiber and my belief that this game needs to change for the better, I still can't seem to suppress my inner degenerate weeb. So we got this beautiful anime Barrett here. It's weird. It looks like it has a muzzle on it, but it doesn't. Now, the only reason I picked this up, I do want to be clear. This is like the only time I've ever seen them intelligently build a sniper rifle. The only thing I really feel like I need to change here is the buy pod, which thank God it doesn't change what the legs look like. And it looks like taking off the CQB pad doesn't actually do anything too bad either, so I can put the Tiger team back on. So yeah, there you go. This is basically how I would run the Barrett in a normal game. It just looks cute. And while we're in here, we might as well set up the uh, AK as well. I don't know. The thing is, I don't really know what like the meta setup for an AK is anymore. So I don't know. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. I don't really expect myself to be messing around with it too much. So anyway, yeah, we're going to pop into Nuketown and play with my new toy. And uh, real quick before we get started here, if you're enjoying the video, definitely make sure you leave a like. And if you're new and you enjoy what you see, then by all means, subscribe. I haven't used the Barrett in a while. Is it just me or does the scope look thicker on this? I mean, dude, look at this thing. I mean, is this not the most adorable sniper rifle that you've ever seen in your life? Come on now. Haha. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a Barrett. I don't really know what anybody expected, you know? Like, this was never gonna be the best sniper in the game, but I will say it's nice to have some motivation to actually use this fucking thing. Uh, for those who are around and remember, I went through this, like, two-week period after the game came out where I was determined to find a way to make the 50 cal work, and I spent about two weeks just spamming this thing nonstop before I finally came to my senses and just gave up, because, I mean, let's be honest, it was never gonna work. Oh my god, they were all just right there, dude. Oh, hey, look, this guy's got the thing, too. Actually, that thing looked like it shot pretty straight. It must be built at least halfway decently. Oh my god, he's jumping around. Yeah, I literally can't get enough of this thing. This is actually, like, the cutest weapon I've ever fucking seen, dude. I mean, nothing like some good old anime to make the Barrett fun to use, you know what I'm saying? What? I was around the corner, man. Look at this, look at this. Look how far away I was. Bouncing Bettys in this game have actually been ridiculous since day one. Okay, so memes about this thing aside for a minute, this isn't just some brainless purchase that I made because I'm incapable of controlling myself. As much as I love stuff with cute anime girls, I don't love it that much. Uh, part of the reason I made the purchase is I'm actually starting to become excited to play uh, Cold War again. And uh, the reason I'm getting excited about that is there was an announcement, I think either today or maybe it was, I think it was yesterday when you're seeing this, might be two days ago now, but uh, there's gonna be a playlist update on the 13th. And in that playlist update, apparently they are going to be adding 12v12 mosh pit on all the 6v6 maps, including Nuketown. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that actually sounds kind of enjoyable. Like in Modern Warfare, I memed on the whole 10v10 shipment thing, because to be honest, it was a meme. Like they even admitted it was a meme, you know? They like, they even called the fucking playlist, what was it? Uh, COD players only want one thing or whatever. I like how it just spawned their team there when I was sitting there fucking launching a cruise missile and shit. But yeah, like that playlist was a meme and that shipment was like one of the most broken maps in the history of Call of Duty. But honestly, I think some of the maps on this game, the uh, 6v6 ones, would actually play decently well 12v12. Especially if they add uh, War as a game mode. Like, I hope they add Combined Arms Assault. I feel like I feel like War would be really fun on some of these 6v6 maps. Especially, like, Garrison. I could see Garrison being really fun. Because, like, a lot of my issue with some of the 6v6 maps is they just play too slowly. People just kind of sit back. So I feel like having more people to occupy that space will actually make a lot of these maps play a little bit better. Yo, where the fuck is everybody? Oh, their team left. But yeah, so in short, I think that might be the catalyst to get me to start playing this again on a more consistent basis anyway Because like 12v12 on these maps is probably gonna be pretty fun I'm sure at some point I will get sick of just the sheer ridiculousness of it all But I don't know man. I really do feel like it might be fun All right, this thing is officially my new favorite weapon everything else is off the table forever It's just Barrett from now on But yeah, so that playlist update has me a bit excited for at least the next couple weeks I don't know if they'll leave that in I get the feeling that they won't I don't think it's gonna be like snipers only where it just stays I mean unless it becomes wildly popular, but I really don't see that happening. Like, it's probably gonna be popular amongst snipers, because I imagine it's just gonna be, like, triple city on some of these maps. Like, there are gonna be some kids that haven't hit a triple all year that are gonna hit, like, six in the next week, probably. Alright, let's try the other one real quick. Oh, wow, that actually looks really cool. Like, the whole cute anime vibe aside, it actually just is a nice design. I'm curious to see how it'll look when I get it all, uh, reactive and stuff. Oh my goodness. This lobby is trying its pants off. Everybody in it. Oh yeah, okay, look. So I got some kills now, so it looks different. It's like on fire. That's really cool.
What the fuck is this? Tossing C4 around. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey. Okay, yeah, look. So now it's like green and shit. So how many kills do you need to make it go all the way? Is it... Oh yeah, look. Now it's purple and shit. Look at this. Nice spawn, by the way, Treyarch. Holy fuck. Yeah, look, it's like purple and shit now. That's awesome. I might just like only use these two weapons for the rest of the year, actually. Like, these are fucking sick. Also, look at this guy. Look at this dude with the movement on point. So a couple of quick updates here. Uh, I know some people are waiting on a Dota video. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I was on a pretty bad losing streak there for a bit. And I actually managed to break it today. I had a really good game uh, right before I sat down to record this, actually. And I'd say that's probably the best that I've played since uh, coming back as far as like individual performance is concerned. And my team won the game too. Like we won pretty handily, but I'm still not like super confident. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I want to have a few more consistently good games in a row uh, before I actually sit down to record another video. I might record one maybe tomorrow or another day. I've been adding players after some of my like better lobbies and shit. And what I actually kind of want to do is like try and get a stack together and then just sit and like practice the game just to like make myself feel a little bit more confident, you know? Because like the thing is there's a lot of points like throughout the game where I really just don't feel like I know what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to do. And like my placement on the map is awkward and I'm not sure where to go. And like, I don't want to have to run into that situation while recording a video. And then I have to try and figure out a way to like, not only assess and like solve the situation, but also manage to talk through it in an entertaining fashion. Yeah, this thing looks really fucking sick, dude. I'm a huge fan. Good job, Treyarch. This is actually one of the better things you've added to the game. I'm actually happy. Dude, there is no fucking way, bro. Come on. What? And it's the same guy too. Dude, that guy with the KSP is gonna make me lose my mind, I swear. But anyway, so that's what's been going on with that pretty much. I literally saw that coming right into my face. It actually just scared the shit out of me. But anyway, some updates on some other things. Uh, for those of you who saw my video from a couple days ago talking about that speeding ticket or whatever, well, the plot has thickened and I'm fucking livid about it. You're actually not a real human. I refuse to believe it. That's, you've got to be a bot or something. They put a bot in the game because this game's player base is dead. That's what I'm going with. There's no way an actual human being just did that. So anyway, as I mentioned in the video, you know, I talked to this woman on the phone and she said, oh yeah, you know, you can pay your thing online. You know, it'll be up there in a few days. Well, I went to check it. You know, after a couple days, I went to go check it and just follow her instructions to the letter, right? And she gave me a whole bunch of instructions. I wrote them down. I followed them to the T and you know, I logged into this thing and I found my ticket. But when I went to go pay it, the option wasn't there. And I'm really confused because I'm like, huh, she didn't tell me what to do if the option's not there. She just said the option would be there. So I click around on this website for a little bit, and then I find out in a completely unrelated section that took me like 20 minutes to find, uh, apparently some tickets aren't eligible to be paid online. And it seems that mine isn't. So now I'm basically fucked because the deadline is tomorrow for me to pay this fucking thing before I get some kind of fine. So there's no way I'm mailing it in time and I'm not gonna drive down there to pay it in person. It's in fucking Virginia. So the only thing I can really do is call them tomorrow and basically say, listen, you guys told me that I could pay it online and I was operating under that assumption the entire time. Apparently I can't. So basically I need to see if I can get them to either extend the date or somehow open it up online with an exception because I flat out refuse to pay a fine because somebody told me wrong information. That's not my fault. Anyway, rant story over. This thing right here may have single-handedly saved Black Ops Cold War for me. I love it. And this thing's not half bad either. I'm loving that reactive camo. It's really cool. But anyway, yeah, that's the anime blueprint. Expect to see me running around with that a lot. I'm probably not going to use anything else for a while because both those guns are absolutely adorable. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.